Hey Spartans, this is Clifton, here with your Monday Minute. We're going to cover the kettlebell swing. The benefits of the kettlebell swing will be power production on the posterior chains, the back side of your body, that's your hips, your glutes, your hamstrings. And if we do the sets and repetitions in such a way, it will also improve your endurance for your lower back, which is part of your posterior chain, and the same glutes, hamstrings. So, let's break it down. In the swing, we're looking at more of a hinge movement, less of a squat movement. We want to focus on the back side. So, we set up, karate chop the hips so they break back. We like to have a vertical shin, grab your kettlebell, we hike while staying low, then stand up explosively, pop. Once my hips come into extension, my arms raise, I get to about here, about chest height, arms will be mostly straight, still tight, very tight, drive it back down before it hits me, break in the hips, and repeat. When I'm done, stay low, put it down gently. There's a reason with our swing that we only swing to chest height, and that's most people don't have the requisite shoulder mobility to go overhead. There's not really any additional benefit to going overhead if we create enough power with a horizontal trajectory. So, if, if the bell feels too light, like it wants to flow overhead, get a heavier bell, you get more out of it. But we certainly don't want to turn this into a squat and then a shoulder raise. This is a power drill from the hips. That means as I come back, arms just float up. I like to do these swings three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. On Mondays, I go with five sets of ten. On Wednesdays I get a little bit more, I go 5 sets of 20, and on Friday I get my biggest volume of the day, and I might be doing 20 sets of 10, 20 sets of 20, I get a lot of repetitions because that's a lot of muscles in the back of the body that can handle quite a bit of volume.